Welcome everyone to the Brocade Traffic Optimizer demonstration. Today we will be stepping through a live session showing the benefits of having Brocade Gen 7 technology in your data centers. To begin, let's step through a brief description of what Traffic Optimizer is, as well as the benefits it brings. With Fabric OS 9.0 and above, we have introduced Traffic Optimizer in our Gen 7 platforms and are constantly evolving how we utilize our virtual channel technology. With Traffic Optimizer, we are now able to dedicate sets of virtual channels, known as performance groups, to devices in the fabric based on destination port speeds. It helps solve one of the most common problems in the data center, resource starvation caused by device speed mismatching. This is one of the lead causes of congestion in the SAN today, mostly due to the various generations of technology that are present in the data center, and even more so as higher speeds are introduced. Advanced Traffic Optimizer features will also allow us to further reduce fabric impacts by classifying devices into performance groups based on the protocol they are running and even dynamically assign flows to different performance groups based on their workload profile. One last thing I do want to mention is the fact that there is no configuration necessary and all of this is happening automatically as well as non-disruptively in the background. This will help autonomously mitigate the most common congestion problems in the SAN with zero user intervention. Now let's get a better understanding of the environments we will be working with today in this demo. Here we come to both Gen 6 and Gen 7 topologies. First thing to note is the fact that both environments have been set up identically, with the only difference being the blade in which the devices sit in. From the topology diagrams, both the 16 gig and 32 gig hosts are communicating to 32 gig targets. Devices are attached to ports 40 and 44 on purpose due to the fact that they share the same virtual channels internally. We want this to be the case to see the performance impact to neighboring flows when the virtual channel is shared with devices experiencing congestion. In our case, the 16 gig flow shown in red on the left will be experiencing congestion due to it requesting more data than it can handle from a target that is twice its speed, running at 32 gigs. Let's go ahead and visualize the observed performance impact via the SanNav management portal. Here we are looking at two SanNav instances. The one on the left is managing the Gen 6 environment, while the one on the right is managing the Gen 7 environment. I've gone ahead into the inventory and pre-selected ports 40 and 44 from both environments that we want to visualize the performance for. Now let's launch the ports into an investigation mode for both SanNav instances to see what's currently happening. To begin, let's select our ports and compare based on the transmit throughput metric. In this case, the metric is relevant since our devices are running a 100% read traffic profile. From the graphs, we can see some slight differences between environments, but let's take a step back and look at the ports for the last hour. Prior to starting the demonstration, we started our congested 16 gig flow shown in the topology below, which is depicted by the blue line on the graphs, while the 32 gig flows are depicted by the black lines. In this case, when the traffic was started, we can see that the 32 gig flow on the Gen 6 environment was impacted heavily, decreasing its performance by nearly half as soon as the 16 gig flow began to ramp up and began to consume the available credits. When looking at the Gen 7 environment, we can see that the 32 gig flows remain steady and unaffected. This is due to the fact that the 32 gig flow is now running on a different performance group and is no longer sharing the virtual channel with the 16 gig flow when the congestion begins to ramp up. This shows how Traffic Optimizer is able to avoid resource contention and mitigate the potential impacts seen in environments with mixed generations. Now let's start looking at this performance data in real time. Let's take a few seconds and allow the graph to populate as it's updating with a 10 second granularity. While it continues to update, let's go in and stop our 16 gig traffic. Coming in, we see our 16 gig flows are actually shown in red. This is due to the fact that the flows are experiencing enough congestion that we are seeing timeouts occur. Let's stop the congested traffic for both Gen 6 and Gen 7 environments and observe the flow behavior. Stepping back into SanNav, we can begin to see the 32 gig flow in the Gen 6 environment recovering its throughput as the 16 gig flow releases the buffer credits it was exhausting. We continue to observe the 16 gig flow throughput going to zero while the 32 gig flow increases this throughput until it levels out. 
while on the Gen 7 environment, the 16 gig flow is also stopped and we see the traffic going to zero, while the 32 gig flow still remains steady with no impact at all. Now let's take a quick look under the covers via the CLI and see what virtual channels these flows were actually running on. Here we show the Gen 6 CLI on the left hand side and the Gen 7 CLI on the right. We will be issuing the ports that show command in order to see the counters associated with each of the ports of interest. In our case, slot 3 port 40 and slot 3 port 44 on the Gen 6 side and on the Gen 7 side slot 5 port 40 and slot 5 port 44. We are also appending the grep command to the ports that show to focus our output specifically around accumulated virtual channel counters. With this command, virtual channels 0 to 3 are listed up top. We have VC0, VC1, VC2, which is where our 16 gig traffic is running, then we have VC3. Similarly, looking at slot 3 port 44, we also see our traffic running on virtual channel 2. Moving over to the Gen 7 side, we notice some differences in the output. This is due to the fact that more virtual channels are exposed with Gen 7, allowing for the introduction of more advanced features like Traffic Optimizer. If we look at slot 5 port 40, we notice traffic is also running on virtual channel 2, which is expected as it's running in the 16 gig performance group with its own set of resources. When looking at slot 5 port 44, where our 32 gig flow is running, we come to find that the traffic is running on virtual channel 15, which is a completely different performance group than that of the 16 gig flow. Since performance groups have their own set of resources, we were able to completely avoid the impacts that are experienced when resource contention is present in the SAN. This continues to show the value that Traffic Optimizer brings by automatically classifying flows to different performance groups based on port speeds to avoid the potential congestion caused by resource starvation in mixed generation environments. This concludes the Traffic Optimizer demonstration. For more information, please visit Broadcom.com. Thank you for watching.